Hello and welcome to this top-down engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Amontens and today we're going to have a quick look at how to install the top-down engine. So the first thing you want to do is create a new project. I would recommend picking the latest stable version at the time of uh, the recording of this video. That would be 2019.4.22F1, uh, the 2020 and 2021 releases are a bit too buggy at the moment, but the engine will run uh, on them just fine. So I'm going to create a new project. Uh, here you get options, you know, RP and stuff. I would recommend uh, sticking to 3D because if you pick URP or HDRP, you will have to convert the demos uh, to use your render pipeline of choice. Uh, much easier to just use 3D. Likewise, uh, the engine will work on any render pipeline. So just uh, pick the one you want if you prefer. But if you want to check the demos, especially uh, go with 3D. Uh, type a project name. So we're going to type in uh, test install and then you press create. And then you wait while Unity creates the project for you. Once your project is created, you should see your Unity scene. And uh, what you can do now is go to the package manager. These are a bunch of uh, already installed assets. And uh, then you can go to My Assets, select the top-down engine, uh, and click on Download. Once download is complete, you can click Import. At some point, you should get this pop-up saying importing a complete project will overwrite your current project settings. Just click Import, and it's going to ask you if you want to install the package manager dependencies. So uh, in the case of the top-down engine, that would be uh, Cinemachine, post-processing, a bunch of packages from Unity that will let you enjoy the demos at their full potential. I would recommend just clicking Install Upgrade. Once the uh, import is complete, you will see this window. Just leave everything checked. Don't touch anything. Press the Import button. Once import is complete, you can just close the package manager and go into the top-down engine folder where you'll find all the contents of the engine. Um, you could decide to create a, let's say, third-party folder and move the top-down engine in it. This you can remove. Uh, usually you, would, you wouldn't have the basic default uh, scenes folder. You would probably have something like game where you would put your own content, you know, and in third party, you would have all the plugins and stuff you, you want. So uh, the engine, you can go, it can go anywhere you want in your project. There's no mandatory folder. Um, that thing, import parameters got modified during import. That's completely normal. Just Unity, I think you know that it modified import parameters. Just what you can do is clear the console. You won't see any of that ever again. And from there, um, you know, you can you can just uh, open any demo. Let's say uh, uh, this one, and grab your game view. Press play, and you can start shooting at stuff. That's it. You've installed the top-down engine. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.